morning, good afternoon and good evening listeners from wherever you're tuning into this channel across the world. Welcome to Afri's Concept TV and thank you for tuning into this channel. The news headline. I see Nigerian security clearing all Iswap and Boko Haram. But God has told me they will return. Ayo Dili. Once again, you're welcome to today's news. And thank you for tuning into this channel. The news details. The founder and general of Asia of INRI Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Elijah Ayodele, in the recent video on his TikTok page, shared a video message with the public. While speaking, the cleric reportedly stated that, please, I want you all to give me rapt attention because God has revealed to me something very important which we need not to neglect. We need to commit all the government officials in our country, Nigeria, to the ends of God so that nothing bad will happen to any of them. Speaking further in his prophecies, he said, we need to keep our security agencies in prayers because I see them clearing all the swaps and Boko Haram. But God has told me they will return. And if eventually they do not do the needful to conquer the terrorists, they will face the toughest time in battle. So, Premita Yodile is back again. No, oh, this man is back again. He's always going to the TikTok page to make videos and telling us he has prophecies. He's always having prophecies to give concerning the politics of Nigeria. So, let's hear what he even has to say today. Um, he, he shared to his TikTok page as usual and made a video saying that um, he wants people to actually listen to him. Because God has revealed something very huge and important to the nation that we must not neglect. And what, what is this thing that I said God revealed to him? He said God revealed to him that um, the security agencies are actually going to clear all swaps, ice swaps and Boko Haram. That they will clear, they will fight them and they will succeed. But these people are still going to rise up again and come back to Nigeria. So he said, what, uh, what can we do about is that we should be praying for all government officials in our country. That Nigeria needs the hands of God. And also that we should be praying for all security agencies. Because he see them clearing all the swaps and Boko Haram. But he said God has told him that they will also return. And if eventually they do not do the needful thing to conquer the terrorists, they will face the toughest time in battle so i don't think every revelation okay see this man now this parameter your daily is now people will not take him serious again they'll just take it as as child's play because he's always having every revelation okay even though god is giving you revelation every day you don't have to come online every time to say because now everybody is, is, is seeing you as um Everybody is seeing you as like you're just trying to look for attention or something. Because you are, he, he's always saying something. He's always saying something to say about Nigeria. This man is always... Okay, you have never seen... Okay, solution. You're always seeing problem. He's always seeing problem. Problem all the time. All the time. Can't you just see solution also? Let God also show you the solution. Since you say God is showing you a lot of things. This time around now, God has shown you that um, they are going to conquer High Swap and Boko Haram, but they are going to come back again. I feel that not all revelations are made to be known to the public. You can also do prayer. You are a man of God. You can also pray to actually revert all these bad revelations. That could be a solution. Instead of just coming al online and every day you always find something to say. It will not make people take you serious. So now people have actually commented 
and um guests said must every revelation be made public because me i wonder not all revelations are supposed to be made public don't you know by making such public you are giving information to these terrorists that will enable them and their sponsors to strategize and counter the efforts of the military are you for or against us my question please Another Victor Egwim said, I don't pray Tinubu's death, but if it happens and Chetima takes over, then Nigeria is gone. The fear of so many people about his vice, this made a lot of Christians not to vote APC. Awori Adewale said, you are a disgrace to Christian body. Edwin Kanu Every man of God needs to be praying for his country. Know what this man just says. Pray for our country for peace to reign. Charles Igbeni Eweka said, If there is any word of God to be preached, it must be based on salvation and the second coming of Christ, not this mumbo jumbo sir. So me, I'm not saying um Ayodele should not actually come and give prophecies, but not every time because now you're already making you're already disgracing the Christian bodies and making it look like you are the only one that God used to show prophecy or you're the only one God used to talk to. Because that's how I actually feel. He's always having something to say all the time concerning the nation, and it's not always something good. It's always something bad. Must your prophecies be always something bad? What's your view concerning this news and this man? Kindly share your view in the comment section and don't forget to like and share and also click on the subscribe button to subscribe and the bell for more updates. We've come to the end of today's news. Thank you for listening to the hand.